We took Colonia Agrippina from the Swabians because they uh, foolishly declared war on us for just no for reason floor. whatsoever. Maybe because we are expansionist and we um, made peace with the Roman Empire. Maybe they didn't take too kindly to that. So I've recruited some priestesses to help me with the public order here in Hoffen, in the Skansa province. I'm also going to be building, uh, let's see here, here it is. The Chieftain's Hold is also going to increase public order quite significantly. I only have one military jetty and then all of the rest are going to be fishing jetties. Here I have a military jetty because I don't think I have the money to convert just yet and I actually do. So I'm going to do that. Now the issue is whether I should bother start trying to resettle these all of these desolate areas and at the moment I, I don't think I will. I'll try to go and take Durocorteron from, let's see, this is Britain, this is Gaul. So maybe I'll just, I'll send my, maybe I'll send my uh, priestess down here to have her convert some of the populace. I hope the Swabians decide to attack me so I can be rid of them. Always annoying with just a few enemy armies running around and causing mischief. Too bad that these mm, cities are desolate. Okay, on seasonal conditions in Skansa and a food shortage in Belgica, which is not great. Let's see, here I have the Germanic standing stone. Uh, then I can build, to increase my food, I can build a farmstead. I kind of want to dismantle the... Yeah, the Germanic standing stone looks kind of crap, to be honest. So... Let's just... Dismantle it. And the next turn, I'm going to be building... Um, something else. <laughs> we'll see what. Now, it's tempting to go and take... To expand further. But I'm going to let things stabilize a bit before I do that. Maybe level up my priestesses a bit. Should help with the public order and the chieftain's hall should also help with the public order. Goat pens aplenty. Let's see, now the public order is a lot better here. So let's see if I can start moving Kongens Leidong out without Move having out. yeah I can actually start moving Kong and Slidang now so that's good I can move him towards where things are happening uh, I quite missed the ability to build watchtowers I thought that was a nice feature in the previous in the previous uh, Total War games let's see enclosed fields in Gothish Gansa uh, there's a Okay, I have market stalls. I might... Let's see if I can recruit some spies. Cunning, artisan, farmer. Uh, this... I'm not too fond of spies, to be honest. 
not too fond of them at all. So, okay, I will just dismantle. Let's see, dismantle the market stalls. Do you have throws or something like that? The warrior shrine is... It's not strictly necessary at this point, and it does consume a lot of food, so I'm just going to dismantle it. Then we have the wicker maker. I don't like the wicker maker. Maybe I can change it into... Um, let's see... Wood carver... Smithy... Bone carver... Nope. The fields can be uh, upgraded into a goat herd. Then we have the market stalls. Let's see if I can convert the market stalls into something. Into a meeting hall. Just going to increase public order and funds. Yeah, let's just uh, let's just convert it into a meeting hall. Then I have the fishing jetty, so food should be fine here shortly. I don't have any enemies over here that I am aware of. So I can just disband the mercenary units. I want to keep the onager, just in case I'm not able to recruit an onager when I need it. Yeah, this army is... I might... Ooh, I don't want to disband the dogs just yet. Or maybe I should start making a proper army out of families. An army that doesn't rely on dogs for killing. Soon, soon, all in good time. Uh, let's have a look at the political situation here. Uh, my control is... Not great. Um, let's see, Gauti here is a companion. In Belgica, I don't have a governor in Belgica. Mm, let's see. Only statesmen may become governors. Yep. I, we have Aina in Gothish Gansa. Maybe I can try to... The power is... Ooh, public order plus five. Well, that's that's the interesting thing here. Public order goes up while integrity and loyalty goes down because my power is pitiful. Now, I should probably try to do something about that. Let's try to gather su gather some support, maybe. Gather support. Uh, s arrange a marriage with maybe Einar, since he's a governor. Yeah, arrange a marriage with Einar. Let's try that. And let's have him go gather support. Let's have him gather support. And let's have the faction leader gather support. Let's just see how that plays out. And I kind of want to go and fight a bit and do a quarter on, but maybe not yet. I quite like expanding along the coast instead of expanding inlands. Having ports and such is very nice. Noble birth, Gutulf got a son. Uh, this man has completed his terms of office as elder, very nice. Huglaike has completed his office, Wolfgar has completed his office. Let's see, whatever it takes, yeah. Let's have... Uh, yeah, whatever it takes. Uh, 
Uh, I'm going to decree the marriage. <laughs> Minus four control, unforeseen complications. But I did get uh, an increase in political support here. And now the power is balanced. Okay, the power is balanced, so loyalty plus two. Balanced seems like a good... A nice balance. <laughs> so I don't have much available for political options now, but I did get a new... Did get a new, let's see, Gauti. He's a companion. Einar. Let's see here. Agmundur, Taskmaster, Integrity plus 2, Overseer plus 10 Wealth, Champion Rider. Well, that's not useful as for a uh, Governor. So maybe Agmundur as, as a Taskmaster can be Governor of Belgica. Then we have this guy as a Companion. I can't appoint this. Wolfgar can be an elder. And judge later on. Okay, okay. Let's see here. Are these these are other nobles? Go he's a governor. He's a governor. So, since public order is fine here, I'm going to send Astrider to down here to Colinia Agrippina. Send Kongil's Lydong down towards Tilliferdum. Now, the question is who I want to take on next. I am quite friendly with the Langobards, I think. And the elements, yeah, it's not. Sure the elements are not very powerful. Me, uh, let's have a look. The elements, not very powerful. The Burgundians are a horde faction. The Langobards are friendly towards me. Maybe I could just take Germania. Let's see. Germania consists of Ubersus, Lepferdum, and Aragelia. And this is. Aragelia, this is Ubersus. Lupferdum is here. That's not a bad, bad bit of conquest, I think. So, Kongsirden, if the Kongsirden just holds the flank here, and then I can move down and have a look at what the Langobards are doing with Kongens Leidang. Yeah, let's do that. Took a fair bit of damage from attrition there, but it's fine. Any good mercenary units here? Nope. Okay, let's just end the turn. Oh, he's dead. Oh, I can issue an edict. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's have the... Resettlement. Uh, judgment of Vodan. I'm going to be building a few things here. Sacred Grove. No, I'm going to dismantle this one. And build something else instead. So, uh, maybe, maybe the resettlement. For the time being. And Jorgen has an unassigned skill. Okay. Provocation. Nope. Rhetoric. Spread religion. Plus 10 religious influence. Spiritual leadership. Plus 3 public order. That sounds nice. Mystery. Admonition. Strong words. Da -da -da. Conviction. Inspire troops. Imposition. Compromise security, preach doom, preach intolerance, dogma, retribution, 
Uh, provocation, no. I want her to mainly be having positive effects in my own settlements for the time being, so... Spread religion, plus 8. Plus 12. And she gets plus 1 seal as well, so... Let's... Let's give her that. Plus 16. If I reset the skill points, let's see. Plus 4. She has plus 4 now. And then if I... Take... Um, spiritual leadership. And rhetoric. Rhetoric. Yeah, rhetoric seems like a nice one. The goddess blesses you. How can I help? Public order at zero. But I'm going to have my... Chieftain's Hall built soon, which should help. Uh, over here, people are not that happy, but should should help them when I get the fishing jetties and the different things here. Then we have the Hunter's Shrine. And I want to replace that with dikes. And I don't... Okay, so here I'm going to have dikes, fishing jetties, goatherd, meeting hall, and the wicker maker. I, I can just keep the wicker maker for the time being. Not too happy about the wicker maker, but I'm just going to keep it. And the turn. It's going to be pretty satisfying taking out the Lango boards. Okay, but one is climbing the greasy pole, da da da. Um, political favors. I'm going to be calling in political favors. Political turmoil. Your political machin machinations have not gone unnoticed. The happiness that your actions has caused your popularity to decline. I don't really care. Foreign trespasser in the wandering warriors uh, from the Caledonians, of all things. Caledonians? What the hell are Caledonians doing in my lands? Can I accept trespassing from Caledonians? Let's have a look at the Caledonians, see how they are doing. They have one region, and all the way over here. Uh, they are not happy with me, so they are unfriendly. You know what, Caledonians? I'm going to kill the shit out of you for being in my territory. It's unacceptable. Let's see what they have. Ooh, it looks like the Wandering Warriors have stolen my Wardog build here. Uh, even more reason to kill them. I can't let the can't let the um, secrets of the MLG Wardog tactics get out. Ready for battle. So, Kong Sirden alone, or Kong Sirden together with Kong and Slydong? I think... Yeah, I'm going to use both armies just to be... Or can I use both armies? If I... Let's see, if I move down here... Are they going to be within reinforcing range? Attack with Kong and Slydong? I'm going to declare war, of course I am. They have the goals as allies, but... They are joined by the Gauls, which is fine by me because I'm going to be would be attacking the Gauls anyway. And they ran like the little bitches they are. Didn't quite make it to uh, to enemy territory. I'm just going to fight this battle for the hell of it. It's always nice being able to kill a king. I don't think I got my reinforcing army now, but it really doesn't matter. It's almost scary that the AI 
has an army that is so similar to my armies. Maybe the AI is copying my armies. Can't have any of that. Of course the AI isn't going to be able to use the MLG Wardog tactics. Because the AI doesn't even Wardog. So let's see here. Spears up front. Skirmishers behind. Cavalry here. Dogs on the flanks. Onager. Let's see. Let's put it in the center here. Flaming. Let's start the battle. I think the AI is going to move towards me. Yep, it is. Because I have uh, an onager. I'll just move up ever so slightly here. Not the best piece of terrain I find myself in, but it's going to... It will have to do. Send the horses around the flanks. <laughs> Use the war dogs as cavalry here. Okay, let's attack some... Let's attack the, the skirmishers, because Nordic skirmishers can do a lot of damage to me. There we go. Pull back with the dogs, move around with the cavalry. Yeah, hey. Very nice dogs. Let's just try to snipe the enemy general here. Here comes the pain. Oh, very nice. Ooh, holy shit. That hurt. So, Flaming Shot gets a bonus in... It gets a bonus in forest terrain. It doesn't really burn down the trees and then the trees damage the troops but it does at least does a nice nice bit the of bonus damage to enemies in forests so just throwing javelins here with the uh, and here you can see it again massive damage done by the onager oh shit enemy cavalry That was not the plan. Now I caught the Germanic Warband, luckily. Kill the Warlord. And yeah, I can just charge here and... Charge and kill the enemy. Pull out the cavalry. down a few units with the cavalry including the enemy general Ooh, friendly fire friendly fire pull out the cavalry yeah the friendly fire is significant here It isn't the real battle before the friendly fire kills more troops than the enemy does. Let's run the skirmishers up and try to kill the enemy general by skirmishers.
Nordic Levy gets killed by bow cavalry. Beware! Our hidden units have been revealed! Come on, just kill the Nordic Levy before the Nordic Levy kills my cavalry. There we are. The ever useful Nordic Mounted Raiders running down a few units. Now it's really just a matter of killing the enemy general. <laughs> it looks like the dogs are going to start doing just that. don't think they will be able to finish the job tho though, so I'm going to send the cavalry to do that. Ooh, more units down here. And here. Use a rapid advance. I think the skirmishers here should be able to kill the enemy general. Just go down here and finish off these units, please. Very nice. That's it for the Caledonians. I don't think all the kills showed up there for the Onager. It definitely killed more than 22 people. The Caledonians are defeated. Just kill the captives. Starting out. Uh, I just didn't trespass on the uh, on the elements there, so that's good. Now I can send Kongsheden back to Colonia Agrippina because I need to deal with the the goals in Duro Courtroom. I want hourly patrols. So I'm going to do that. Warriors all. Oh, we can hire some more troops. Mm, let's try a mercenary Nordic Brigade. 38, that's cheap enough. Ready for battle. Let's see over here if I can... This is what? Uh, stores. Okay, yeah. I'll keep the keep the stores. How may I be of assistance? And next turn I will have the ability to recruit Hirdman and Housecarls, which is nice. I don't think I'm going to be pushing too far into this territory here. We have the Venerians. Um, here we have Harkinia. But, I mean, I think uh, Lepferdum, yeah, I'm going to, to start moving towards Lepferdum to see if I can, see if I can take that. By two skirmishers on the way. Hopefully, nobody takes advantage of my absence. Or maybe, I'm going to see how much it costs and how it works with the resettlement, because it would be nice to just take these portal settlements. These uh, naval settlements as well, so... Okay, colonization is going to... S okay, 795 soldiers are going to settle. And it's going to cost me 8,000. Okay, let's do it. Warriors all. Ready for hmm, okay, so I'm go just going to be able to replenish that army here, which is nice. Ruined village. But I also need to, I also need to uh, wait a bit, it seems like. Build a torp. Yeah, let's do that. Because there was salt here, and I think having salt is going to be nice. Uh, instead of, yeah, I, I'm going to, I'm going to do this. Uh, keep, re resettle these settlements, and possibly also resettle here in uh, Augusta Trevorum. Let's see, Wolfgar has unassigned skills. Uh, he can be a stag, for example. No, he can be infantry commander. Let's see, melee defense, melee attack, melee defense, 
Uh, the stag is nice because it increases his authority and it also increases fatigue resistance. So fatigue resistance is a very nice trait to have. So I'm going to be doing that. And he can also have, let's see. Okay. Rodian Captain of Slingers. Master Hunter. Plus five for ranged infantry. That is kind of useless. Uh, but the Rodian Captain of Slingers wasn't great either. But I'll just take it. And then Einar. He's a governor. Loyalty minus one. Uh, if he's a lord, then he's going to. I'm going to get increased wealth. And a wolf? No. Well, I have. To, it's for, it has to be a wolf first, anyway. So. Um, poor interests. This man has a healthy interest in cosmopolitan matters. I'd rather he didn't. Hostile agent, construction costs minus 10, yeah that's nice. Wooden sword, research rate, construction cost minus 5. That's nice. Slave trader. Mm, no, I'm not going to be recruiting many ranged infantry units in his province anyway. So let's see. Einar, Einar, Einar. What to do with your loyalty? Hmm... Let's see. I don't think I can do much yet. Balanced power. Loyalty plus two. Very nice. Let's end the turn and see what happens to our income. Starting to get a nice kingdom up here in Northern Europe. A token, perhaps a <laughs> the Langobards want a non-aggression pack. Uh, they probably... They are shivering in their beards. But I'm not going to accept it. Because I want to take their settlement, obviously. I will not accept their settlement, because I'm going to take their settlement. Ooh, small pokes in Gothish Gansa. That's that's not cool at all. Uh, I was just about to build some. Let's see, some. Where are the dikes? Uh, this is a construction site. Hunter Shrine, Artisan, Farmstead, Granary. Ooh, yeah, Granary. I need a Granary. Um. Then the go turd. No, I'm not going to build that just now. The meeting hall is about to get, bu get built, but the granary, and then I'm going to build dikes later on. Really lucky that I moved my army out of uh, that I moved my army out of of uh, Gothiskansa here. Warriors all. Really happy I did that. So uh, let's see here. Ostri gained some experience. She can be, uh, yeah, spiritual leadership and rhetoric. <laughs> she's stupid. I love that she's stupid. As long as she's useful, she can be as stupid as she wants. Inspire the populace. Or did I just stop inspiring? Yeah, I think I just stopped inspiring. It's a bit confusing because in the beginning of Rome 2, uh, whenever uh, a character leveled up, I had to... You had to... Um, you had to deploy the agent again, but then that was patched, but I still have the habit of trying to do it. Trying to do it um, twice. Now, this is quite interesting, because we have the, the Utana Slayers here, deployed in the forest. I think I'm going to have to go and deal with them, but this episode has been quite long enough, so that's going to happen in the next episode. And uh, sacrificial bread for Einar. 
And that, that I'm just going to take a look at that first. Uh, let's see here. Einar. Sacrificial bread. Where is the sacrificial bread? Plus 10. Plus 10 percent wealth from agriculture buildings. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so yeah, that's the last. And um, next turn, we're going to have to see what we can do about the Langobards, the uh, Swabians, and last but not least, the Gauls. Strength and honor. <laughs>